you've already forgot most of your life. Coming up on The Lark. In the 1980s, a group of impressionable young men watched way too much television. Today, they survive as defenders of that forgotten era. If something or someone from the 80s is in jeopardy, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire. I was looking through some old photos the other day, and I was just going through this packet of photographs. I found one while I was wearing this jumper. And I literally have no memory of wearing this jumper at all. Just, it was like, wow, did I ever own this item of clothing? And it just made me think, how many days from your memory have just been completely erased? It's pretty scary if you think about it. Uh, also, talk about erasing stuff, they're actually uh, knocking down my uh, childhood cinema. The bloody effing Here's Bernie. Oh, it's a Bernie. A back to the topic at hand. I've just done some science in my science pad. This graph here represents your really vivid strong memories by these spikes there. And there'll be things that have just obviously stuck with you throughout the years and have made a real powerful impression on your brain. The bits in between those spikes are things that you've forgotten about and obviously over the course of a lifespan it's probably weeks, months, might be even just little minutes here and there and things like that. But it actually starts off with a, a flat line there because obviously when you can't remember something and talking of memories you can't remember, which I think is a mixed metaphor, is uh, and this was like a classic family story, it was when my dad first took me to cinema to see Bambi at uh, the uh, local Odeon as it was then before it moved and uh, apparently I wouldn't sit in my seat and I was just running around the cinema and causing loads of chaos and stuff like that and uh, I said become this like oh I can't believe you caused all this trouble at the cinema and you're looking in the cinema now what was wrong with you kind of thing and it was just like say so became this huge massive uh, event but the uh, first spike there where which this represents the first thing I can remember is that when I went to my local infant school it was separated by this pathway where the on the other side of it was the local high school where my sister went and in break time I would go to the side of the fence and pop through and talk to my sister in the high school and I'd be like waving to her and stuff like that and now I, again your memory kind of plays tricks with you because I can remember it quite clear but I remember I felt like you can almost touch like you know like say like I say oh you're all right and stuff like that but yeah, so these uh, spikes and peaks represent all the cool things or interesting things that have stuck with you over the years. So it might be, oh, there's a new look video that come out, that's coming out or has come out. And then uh, as you get later on in your life, there'll be things that only happened a couple of days ago or like yesterday, like um, when I saw Robert Englund return as Freddy Krueger on the Goldbergs the other night. Can I hide? What the? My sweaters! You got good taste, lady. <gasps> so, yeah, there's the uh, science behind memories and things that you can and can't remember. Speaking of which, what was your first memory? Take you back. Do, 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 do. Take you back. Take you back. Love to know, or what memories have stuck with you over the years from a long time ago? As always, thanks for watching and keep it locked. Thanks for watching. To keep your memories refreshed, make sure you subscribe to The Lock. New videos whenever I feel like making one.